Hey, third graders, welcome back. We talked the last time about how to grow an idea for our realistic fiction stories, right? We talked about things that we like to read and characters that are interesting to us, different types of events we might like to read about, our own interests. And I just wanted to point out to you, make sure that as a writer, you go back and you add to your story ideas. I added a few more on my interests family, music, and going to concerts, being active so I could have that be part of my story. We have a Peloton at our house, which is a bike that we can ride inside. So um, that's important to, to our family. And then up here next to cooking, I even wrote healthy eating because I love to eat healthy foods. One of my favorite things is kale. Yum. If you haven't tried it, you should. It's super good. Writers are always going back and adding to their ideas, right? So you might have something that happened yesterday or over the weekend, and you think, oh, that could make a great story. Add it to your list, okay? Just because you write it down once doesn't mean you're done. Writers are constantly going back and adding things to their writing. Today, we're going to start to talk about our characters, Okay, so on your next page, you're going to write this title at the top. This is Character Profile. And a profile is telling all about a person. We're going to be creating a believable character. Okay, so you're going to be thinking about that. I'm going to get you started today, and I'm going to show you some of my ideas. I don't want you to have to, to write any of this down quite yet. I'm going to show you how to draw this on your page at the end. Okay, so I want you to just be focusing and listening to what I'm sharing. And then I'll show you on a blank piece of paper how to draw what I did in your own notebook so that you can then start to create your character profile, all right, of your, your main character in your story. You want to start thinking about that. Right? Your characters and the stories that you write are really, really important. And to create characters that are believable, the author has to know what the character looks like and what, what they even act like, right? So... If you know what your character looks like and acts like, then when you put them in a setting or in a scene in your story, you know how to make them act or how they're going to react to the events that are happening in your story. So today, I'm going to show you how to create a character that's believable. Because remember, this is realistic fiction. This is somebody who could really exist, right? So we're going to come up with a name of a character things that they like, um, some of their physical features, what they're like on the outside, their traits on the inside, things that they might say, things that they might do. Okay, so you have to put a lot of thought into the character. You can't just sit down and write a story and you don't know your character very well. Okay, so you're going to listen and watch. And then at the end, we're going to draw this into your own notebook. Okay, it looks like a lot. So don't be startled. I wrote down a lot of stuff, okay? Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? There's a lot going on on that page, but it's going to be easy when we do it together at the end, okay? I want to show you, I just kind of have another window pane. I sort of have a picture of a person on the inside, and then I have some different titles in each of these boxes, and I want to explain those to you. I want you to be thinking about the character in your story, your main character, okay? So here's kind of like my, my person's head. I gave my character a name. You might not know the name quite yet. You might have to think about that, but don't don't overthink it, okay? I like the name Tilly, and I thought that's going to be a great name for my main character. Tilly's a nine-year-old girl. Okay, so I put her name and I put her age in there to kind of help. And then I went through these different um, topics and wrote down what I want my character to be like, okay? And you're going to do the same thing today. So one thing we're going to look at you know what? Let me just cover all these up. That way it's not so overwhelming to look at. Right? Actions to show personality. What's a character like? What do they do? How do they behave? Okay, I've decided that Tilly is somebody who likes to help others. She loves school. She makes friends pretty easily, right? So that's not difficult for her. She's pretty outgoing. That means she's not afraid to participate in class. She likes um, to raise her hand. She's not shy. She's quite the opposite. She also stands up for others. We call those upstanders. 
Somebody who does not do that is a bystander. They just stand by and watch, right? So Tilly is an upstander. You bet you know somebody like her that stands up for other people and comes to their defense, okay? So those are just a few ideas that I came up with to show what Tilly is like, okay? She, actions and things that she might do, how she is, right? And then I had to go over and think, okay, she's a nine-year-old girl. What are some of her physical features? What does she look like? How does she dress, right? If I look at her on the outside. Well, I say that she's going to be shorter. I, I like to say fun size because I am in fun size myself, so I can relate to that. I gave her curly blonde hair, something I don't have. I have straight brown hair, so I did something a little bit different. Maybe your character is inspired by somebody that you know, and maybe they look like the person that you know. I gave her dimples. I thought that, that something with dimples just makes me think that they're perky and happy, um, and they just like, like life. So I gave her some dimples. And then I decided, okay, what's she gonna wear? How does she dress? And I thought, how fun if she were to wear leggings with fun dresses, maybe patterned dresses or something, and she wears cool Converse tennis shoes. Wouldn't that be fun? Can't you just see somebody like that? You can tell probably how she behaves by looking at the way she dresses, right? We're big Michigan State fans in our house. My oldest son graduated from Michigan State and I went to Michigan State. So of course, Tilly's gonna also maybe have Michigan State gear in her closet because why wouldn't she, right? So not only did I think about how she acts, what she does, but what she looks like, right? And how do these things kind of go together? Then I had to think about what are some things that Tilly might say, okay? These really go together. If this describes kind of what she's like as a person, what kinds of things would she say, right? She might say something like, hey, do you need help? Like maybe somebody drops their backpack and things fall out or somebody looks frustrated because they're having a hard time on an assignment. Maybe she says, hey, you know, let me get the door for you, right? She notices somebody um, has their hand full or maybe it's a teacher that's got all kinds of things in their hands and she's offering, right, to be helpful, holding up, holding open the door. And then if she's, if she's standing up for other people, I thought, well, she might in a situation say something like, you know, stop using unkind words or, you know, you should, um, you should be nice, right? thinking about somebody who sticks up for others and is well-liked and um, makes friends easily, she would say something like, hey, stop doing that, right? We don't, we don't do that here at our school, okay? So I had to think about what are some things she would say based on how she is, what, what her personality is like, okay? And then inside this little triangle, just kind of like, it could be a dress. If your main character is a boy, you could just make a rectangle I wrote down traits. So what is she like on the inside? Those are those one word character traits, right? Based on this information, how would I describe her? And I thought she's a loyal person. She's probably a loyal friend, right? That means someone who's devoted to somebody else. She's honest. So she's trustworthy. She tells the truth, right? She's not sneaky. And I think she's probably generous, right? If she's offering to help people, she probably likes to give her time or she likes to share things with other people or share ideas. So those were just a few of the character traits that I think might describe Tilly. All right, now my last box, remember this is a believable character. So hopefully you're looking at all these things and you're saying, yeah, I know somebody like that, somebody who makes friends easily. I know somebody who's short, right? I know somebody who dresses like that. Or, yeah, I, I say these things to other people, or my friends do. So this is a believable person. This isn't something, obviously, she's a made-up character. But you can see or understand what this person would be like. So you can kind of visualize her in your mind. The last part of my window pane here says, how does your character change? Or what lesson do they learn? And I love that blank because I'm not quite sure about my story yet. I have a little bit of an idea of the setting of my story, right? If she's nine years old, right? You can be thinking that I might have my story take place in a school because I am at school a lot and that's what I know a lot about. 
So I'm thinking that my story is going to take place at school, but I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen in my story yet. I'm still thinking about that. So I don't know this part of my window pane. If you already know, oh, my, my character is going to learn this in the end, right? Like not to lie, be truthful, or um, to follow directions, something, right? If you already know what your story is going to be about, then maybe you can fill this in. But I'm going to have to come back to that. Because remember, like I said earlier, writers are constantly changing things. They're always going back and adjusting things. And I'm not sure yet, so I have to wait, okay? So you're gonna be drawing this in your writer's notebook, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna do it on a blank piece of paper so that you can see it, but you're gonna to wanna to go and find the next page in your writer's notebook after you wrote down your interests. And I bet you know, I've seen some really good ones. Yours might be even longer after today. Find your next page. Okay, and we're going to start with our title first. So at the top of your page, okay, I'm not going to rewrite that part for you. You're going to copy down character profile, creating a believable character. Remember, just pause the video, write it down. Okay, and then when you come back, we'll do some drawing. Okay, so you've got your, your title at the top. Okay, and then underneath that, I want you to draw about, let me show you how big my page is, about in the middle of the page, I want you to draw a circle. And you're just going to work, write the word name in there. And that's where you're going to put your main character's name, maybe their age, right? And then you can write a big triangle. If you're wanting to make it into a rectangle, that's fine. And on the side here, you can write traits. Okay, remember, these are the things that describes somebody on the inside. Those one word traits, bossy, right? Helpful, um, mischievous, right? Things like that. Try to stay away from words like kind or nice. Be a little bit more creative in describing your character, okay? So we've got that first. I'm gonna change to a different color marker, but you don't have to do it. You can just do this with pencil. But I just want you to be able to see Okay, I'm going to make a line up to where my title is, to the side, to the bottom, and to the side again. Those are my four window panes. Okay, so you're going to do that. We did our shapes first, then we did the lines to separate. Okay, so now you're gonna write the title that goes in each of these window panes so that you can start to think about what your characters like, what they say, um, how they dress, what they look like on the outside. Okay, so when I move this paper away, you can copy down these four titles. Okay? Actions to show personality. So the things that they do that helps you understand what, what kind of a person they are physical features and it says outside looks so what do they look like on the outside right maybe like i said what they wear maybe maybe your character wears a baseball hat all the time right what does your character say to show personality so how does what they say match up with the actions that they um, show people and then finally how does your character change in the story or what lesson do they learn in the story all right, just like we've done in the past, you're gonna take a picture of this character profile page after you get some ideas down, right? I, we don't wanna see a blank page. We wanna learn all about your characters, all right? So get some ideas down, take a picture of this, and then the next time we get together, we're gonna to talk a little bit more about characters, and we may start to talk about um, creating or constructing our story. I've got some ideas and I hope you've got some ideas for your story too. You want to be thinking about that. Don't wait until we get together for writing. I want you to be thinking ahead of time what kind of a story you're going to write, what your characters are going to be. Okay, and think about how can I find inspiration in just the everyday things around me.